The English Channel is a very dangerous stretch of water. I've been in some terrifying situations there on a lifeboat and on my own boat. It's a scary place to go in a small boat during the day and at, at night it's downright terrifying and people are, are cold and they're hungry, they're dehydrated, they're frightened, they've been in a boat too long, they don't know where they are, they're feeling seasick, they've got exposure and every time we go to one of these we we don't know that everybody's going to still be alive when we get there. I think what hits you more than anything, irrespective of your own thoughts uh, on this situation, is the desperation that they they must be in to put themselves in this situation. And then you look at them as human beings, irrespective of where they've come from, human beings that are in a state of distress that need rescuing. At the end of the day, we go out there uh, to save lives at sea. We do not judge what we're doing. We're there to save lives. The reaction we generally get from the migrants is of relief. It's not jubilation, it's relief. I've sat them on the lifeboat deck actually praying because they're so thankful. Whole families have drowned in the channel trying to make it from France to England. It's an incredibly dangerous stretch of water and if the RNLI was not rescuing people who have made unsuccessful crossings, then many, many more people would have drowned. It will be a matter of time before there is a disaster with one of these boats, with the big ships, with the weather. And the last thing we want to be doing is going out there and picking bodies out of the water. It sounds quite brutal, but it's the honest truth. It will happen one day. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry, Chef.